Hey there, I know you probably know what an aimpad is, right? It's our aim robotics UI cap. I know that you guys have been playing around with it and have been truly enjoying it. Today we have this weird part by a customer of ours, which is like this weirdly shaped old school tractor seat, which has quite complex geometries. But the tolerance requirements are not high, therefore I'm not using something like a third-party software like Robot DK or Fusion 360. I'm just using Aimpad UACAP and this is a perfect example for it. And for such interesting use cases where you have continuously changing Z height and all kinds of different angles, it could be quite tricky to record it using Aimpad UACAP and trying to eyeball the distance from the path, right? So the tip of the day is to just take the part, start recording, Take the actual dispenser, put a similar length or any kind of length dispensing nozzle, which is plastic and won't scratch the surface. And then when I'm teaching the part, I'm just applying slight Z height pressure against the part. And I'm gonna do it throughout the whole part. And what this allows me to do is to make sure that I have constant Z distance from the needle to the part afterwards. And I will show you how. So yeah, we just go through here. We teach this quick quick little part while I'm still maintaining very slight Z pressure against the bottom part. And when I'm done, all I actually need to do, of course I just stop my recording, I can go in, I can export waypoints, I can adjust them, tweak them, maybe my hand slipped, all of that can be fixed after the fact. So you don't have to re-record the whole part all the time. But doing this saves a lot of time, right? What I would do now after recording the pad, I would just go into my TCP settings and I would modify my TCP's Z height offset to whatever distance I'm looking for between the part and my nozzle. In this case, I would just change my length from 184 to 186, for instance. So that should result in me having a uh, two millimeter distance between my nozzle and my part, right? This is something, this is a quick fix, of course, and but this is something we are actually working on implementing the UR cap itself. And there are ways of using scripts that are a bit cleaner if you have like multiple dispensing parts, one is low precision, one is high precision. But this is a very quick uh, tip and trick that shows you how in combination with Aimpad UR cap and this you're able to dispense quite complex pads on uh, varying surfaces very quickly. And if you're interested in more information, Link is either down below if you're on YouTube or up there if you're on LinkedIn. Bye.